Hi guys, it's uh, another cone video here. I picked these up recently. Now, this first one, oh, I've never seen one before. That's a new one to me. It's a uh, swin. I think it's a swin tex. I know it's a Bigfoot. Yeah, it is swin tex. Um, Manufactured 9th, 2002. But uh, I never realised they did the Bigfoot range in such a small cone. <laughs> that is actually the first one I've come across. And then uh, there's two of these, which I'm not sure of. Uh, Manufacturers, I uh, think King Cohen has got a, f a few of these or a couple of these. Uh, I'll have to watch his video again. I believe he does know the manufacturer of these, but I can't remember. But, uh, they're pretty well used. They don't look I don't know, they might be fairly modern, but they look like they've got the old style of uh, sleeves on. Which is rare, because <laughs> usually with older cones, the sleeves is the first thing to drop off. But, uh, these have still got them, that's still got them. I, prefer, I don't know why, I just prefer them with the sleeves, to me they look better. I think this, I know these two, I think they're one piece moulds, I think, yeah they are, ooh, smells like rubber, I'm not sure what they are made of, I think it's rubber, a very solid sort of rubber stuff, ooh, this one's got a hole inside, Looking down here, look at the camera. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> this one got the same. Oh, yeah, this one's got the same. Oh. There's four. I don't know what they're for. They're for a feature that this cone isn't sporting. I don't know. Not too heavy. all about the same weight, actually. Hundred percent recycling. Oh, yeah, there's a crack. Oh well, it's only a little crack. Yeah, it's a two-piece cone. Typical for most uh, Bigfoot-style cones. That's more for the collection. Yeah. Oddly enough, my cones do get used at times. <laughs> they are pretty handy to have. Oh, excuse me, I've been awake long. I wonder if Swintex still do the, the uh, big foot cone. Oh good, I've got internet this time. For some reason, my internet wasn't working, but I just rebooted the hub and now it's working. Uh, technical glitches. Right. So I've done the current vid now while that was booting and whatnot. So, that's another three, another three cones to the collection. Uh, I apologise for the squeaky chair. My chair's dying a very slow and painful death, I think. 
I like these ones. I like this Bigfoot one. I think that's one of my favourites now. Because it is such an unusual one. I've never seen these 450mm. No, I can't remember. And these are the smallest size cones. I can't remember the sizes now. Anyway, this is one of the smaller cones. And I've never seen a cone or a Bigfoot cone this size. Plastic. Smell of plastic. Oh, I've just had a look at the sleeve close on this uh, Swintex, and there is um, like a hexagon pattern, as well as what looks like it's possibly tarmac or something from a road. And, uh, aside from that split there, it's in good condition. Well, aside from the split and the uh, um, marks on the sleeve. Just looking at the numbers around the top. Can't see in this light, I need a better light. Anyway, and that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll. Uh, Watch you again in the next video.